Hi there. I'm here with the giant Rain E+. And before we go into the nitty gritty details of this bike, let's first talk about what it is, what it does and who it's for. So the Rain E+, is our giant's enduro e-bike. And what that means is, if you're the type of person that loves this kind of high alpine terrain with steep chutes and steep trails, this bike is probably the bike for you. It's the most capable e-bike in Giant's product lineup. Okay, so moving from there, let's talk about the changes. So the Rain E Plus is already a product in Giant's program. And so changes for this year is, first and foremost, is it moved from a 27.5 inch wheel configuration to a bigger 29 inch front wheel. So that gives the bike more rollover, provides you with more confidence during those steep and rocky descents. With that, the 27.5 rear wheel, we went a long way to make sure that that's tucked much more in underneath you. So the rear end is a lot shorter. It's about 19 millimeters shorter than the previous version. And so that makes the bike, despite the bigger front wheel, makes it more agile, more maneuverable and feeling a lot more nimble and lightweight. Despite the huge capability, and the huge benefits of the rollover capability of the 29er front wheel, it's actually more maneuverable and more easy to handle, more easy to snap around tight corners than the previous version. So huge improvement there, the geometry basically of the wheel, both on the front with the 29er front wheel and the rear with the shorter rear center. Next up in the geometry is the flip chip. And what is a flip chip? It's basically a little token that sits right here in the rear linkage, and that allows you to adjust the geometry. So with this bike, we wanted to keep the very predictable, very stable, and, and actually the, the geometry that we were very satisfied with, with the, the, the current rain, but also offer the option for a much lower slacker option that makes the bike even more confidence inspiring. So that's really the mode you put it in when you turn it into the really slack mode. So what that flip chip does is it effectively drops your pedals, your bottom bracket as, as we call it, uh, about 10 millimeters. And that drop slackens the bike just about 0.8 of a degree. Having those two options really makes the bike very, very versatile. Okay, so how do we accomplish this, this low setting? By really working on the motor and the electronics setup. This bike gets an almost complete new electronics uh, kit on it. Starting from the motor, works very closely with Yamaha on a new structure design with this motor. Not only is it more powerful, but it was designed to fit better around the giant Maestro suspension system. So when you look at the positioning the maestro pivots and you look at how the motor just kind of like a two pieces of a puzzle just fit within that that mount and that suspension system that really allowed us to bring the motor up and bring it in so with a more compact design we created between 34 and 37 degree of more ground clearance depends a little bit on uh, the size and the in the, in the range. So about one and a half inch um, of, of more ground clearance. That is, that is huge, of course. That provides a lot more uh, capability in rough, big rollover kind of situations. And so that allowed that low, extra low position to be even possible. Then moving up to the controls, that's really where, from a user experience, we have made the biggest changes on, on this bike. First up is the Ride Control Go, is what it's called. And that's this nifty little integrated on-off button that's in the top tube. And pressing that will allow you to control the bike just by one press. And basically, that's all you need to do. It starts up in an automatic support mode that's using Giant's very advanced uh, six sensor algorithms, basically, to just get you uh, set it and forget it support mode. There's also manual modes. And that brings me then to the control unit uh, on the handlebar, so uh, the remote control. And that is a new, what we call the Ergo 3. And what's cool about the Ergo 3 remote is um, you can, uh, it's integrated with the grip, as I mentioned, and you can put it left or right of the handlebar, whatever you think works best for you. 
It can switch on the inside of brakes, on the outside, every type of brake it will be compatible with. And really cool is that through the Giant Ride Control app, you can configure the button. So if you want to run two buttons, you want to run left and right, that's also possible. And you can maybe control like maybe uh, modes on a wireless display, for example, or set one up for the manual support modes and the other for going back to the smart assist mode, for example. So you can completely configure the cockpit the way you want it or leave it really, really clean with just that one simple, elegant ride control unit in integrated with the grip. So a really cool and clean cockpit on this bike. So that kind of wraps it up for us with the giant Rain E+. Plus. So an insanely capable bike while still having an extremely agile and lively feel to the bike. Um, thanks to a really good uh, new geometry, the mixed wheel size, uh, all the new electronics. So a really new exciting bike from Giant.